So welcome to another episode of Jordy Does. This will be a long video. Don't care. Haha, <laughs> I love. So they have been cutting down these um, swamp willow trees. Um, a big huge branch fell down there the other day. And they got to take these trees down because they're not safe. So here's some of the wood. You guys can see. I'll put my foot on there for size. This is this is just some of the branches. Well, this isn't a branch, but th this is what they've saved for me so far. This um is pretty wet wood, but they saved this one for me because it's you can see there's one, two, three pieces. And I can carve an owl up here. I can carve an owl here too. I don't know if you guys can see that there's three pieces on this, so it's a crotch, triple crotch. One, two, three. This one. It's kind of like you see it's down. Let me give you a wider view. It's kind of down in a ditch down there. You can see those saw marks. Yesterday I was cutting it up. One, two, three. I had to roll it up the hill and then dolly it over to where I carve. And I made some video, a short video yesterday. You can see my mess here. I blocked out these pumpkins. These are pretty big pumpkins actually. So what I got them, I got them sitting in the sun right now. Well, it's not that sunny right now. But this is willow. It cracks quite a bit. So I want to know, like, here's an example. See that crack right there? That crack should come all the way down here. So I want these to crack a bit before I know where I, I can carve the face. Like, you see this crack here? It comes down, and it carry on right here. So I'm going to let them dry out for a few days before I carve the faces and finish them. It's also good to let your wood dry out because while it's super wet wood it is hard to hard on your sanding discs and your like cut saw saber tooth burrs. So hopefully maybe I'm carving the pumpkins late to the season. Here's the mess that we and this is the wettest pile of sawdust. When I was carving this bark off here, you can all see it's all in that thing there that buggy when I was carving this bark water was pouring out of it anyways see here's one here with the bark on it get up there and yeah soaking wet so what I got to do right now I slept in it's 11 o'clock here like 11 a.m. I my uncle Don I haven't seen him in a few years he came by yesterday and um, I told him that I was going to carve my wood spirit. So I got to get this piece of cedar I found on the beach. It's not that thick. It's, um, I don't know. But anyways, I got to carve my wood spirit on here. So I got to, I got to clean up this mess in here. These, uh, pumpkins I got in here. Here's a pumpkin totem. I just uploaded a video for that. And this other one, I painted it. This water, watercolor acrylic paints. I got to get these moved and I got to, I gotta get this shit cleaned up. Set up the jaw horse. The microphone on? Yep. Okay, so. It's easy. It's easy to uh, have a messy shop. And the shop is messy right now. For all those beginning chainsaw carvers, I suggest you get yourself a jaw horse. Um, let me get this piece here. I'm going to try and carve a pumpkin today with lights in it. So this, this is what I put in my jaw horse. Just a piece like this. So I'll clamp it down so this is down. And then this comes off so you can screw your piece to this. See? I do these uh, Jordy videos, Jordy does videos when I'm kind of in a bit more of a rush. 
know half the time to stop and edit and stuff like that. I mean, stop and move the camera around. I will try my best to. So that's there like that, right? Can you guys see? So now I'll get that piece. So oh, I got to cut it shorter first. Stand by. Okay, so I got it in the stand. I got the wood spirit drawn on. His hair is going to be going this way, then this way, like whoosh, it's blowing day in the wind. I'm going to be using my little Echo 2511 to do this. I'm not going to film him because I got to get this done for him. My uncle's, I'm here late. My uncle's going to be here pretty soon. So I want to make sure this is done for him. So I want to focus more on uh, what I want to do is get one of these slabs here. And carve a pumpkin in the slab and put lights in it, right? So it can light up. Probably use this slab right here, actually. Anyways, I'll get this done. But I'm going to sit down and have some uh, coffee. Thanks for the coffee, Robin. Just found your gift certificate in my uh, wallet. And uh, still got 12 bucks. Thank you. All right. Break time. Shout out to Studio on the Lake. Hope you're, hope you're doing well, Ben. Shout out to Just Carve Rob. Hope you're doing good with your family picnic today, Just Carve Rob. Um, shout out to Amy Joe. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to Lance. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to George. Shout out to whoever I want to shout out to. Larry Debs. Chris in the UK. There's two Chris's in the UK. I don't know if one we call them wheels. He's in a wheelchair. And the other Chris is in England. Shout out to everybody. So, oh, my fat gut probably hanging down. Now I'm going to get this out of the way. And yeah, sorry, I'm smoking in my video. Kind of, well, oh, I already took that screw out. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I'll, my Uncle Don, he was my favorite uncle, um, growing up and he was my mom told me the uh my mom and my real dad and everybody grew up in vancouver but my mom told me that uh, my uncle don was uh shout out to my dad if you watch this dad um uh, my uncle don was a real tough nut but uh, yeah my dad's brother my uncle robbie was my favorite too uncle don and uncle robbie uncle don from mom's side of the family and uncle rob from my uh, dad's side of the family Okay, so now I gotta pull that slab out and put it in the jaw horse. Oh boy. Okay. Shout out to everybody I didn't give a shout out to. You know who I'm talking about? You. Yeah, you. Right there. Shout out to Claire. Shout out to, uh, Chris Warrior, shout out to Skip, shout out to Mr. Steve Kanzora. I asked Steve, um, I messaged him on Facebook. He loves answering questions, but I asked him if this uh, this is popular tree, if it's good to carve. He goes, he, it's yeah, it's nice to carve. It's soft, but it's um, it splits easy, and because um, they're cutting this tree, did I just say they're cutting this tree down next week or a couple weeks? It splits easy, and uh, it's good for pumpkins and snowmen. Anyways, it's a mess around here. I'll get that piece of uh, slab there to uh, think thing. Pumpkin time. Okay, I got the slab ready on the... Uh, I'm going to start with the... Um, I don't know what I'm going to start with. Oh, boy. I'm going to... Which way am I going to do this? Is Mike working? Mike check. So this slab is Tape measure. 
Oh, I wanted a thicker one. This one's not that thick. Shoot. Yeah, this one is uh, four inches thick. I got one here that is uh, five and a half and it, I got these slabs for cheap because they weren't cut. Um, when the guy milled them, he didn't cut them square. So like one side, I think I'm gonna get that bigger one there. <sighs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna get the bigger one. Freaking. Yeah, I hope you guys can meet my Uncle Don. He's like 76 now, so some people don't want to be on YouTube. This one's this one's heavier. Just looking at the grain, because if I want to do a show sugi, oh boy. This one's cracked right down there. Spiders. Yeah, okay, well. Let's see here. Sorry if I'm huffing and puffing on the microphone. Somebody's here. How's it going, buddy? See that? I uh, curved that. Um that's the willow, those pumpkins. Yeah, man, that wood is so wet. The water's just pouring out when I uh, carve it. But I just block them out, let them dry out a bit. I think they're going to crack up a lot, yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. That was just the farmer's son. Oops, I hate it when that happens. Let's give you a wider view here. So there's the cedar slab pile. This one, there's some cracks on it. See, there's one on the bottom too. Because this is not going to be a cheap uh, curving when I'm done it because it's going to have lights in it. So. This one here, on the top laying there, this one is five inches. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Man, I think I feel like moving these things around here. This one I'll split in half for Christmas trees. I'm gonna put a the line here just so reminded myself that it's cracked. Now this one oh. spiders, watch spider webs and stuff. This one is uh, perfect because I might show Sugi man this pumpkin. So oh that one has Oh no, that's not crack. That's just a cut. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Oh, that one's cracked too. Fuck. Not as bad though. That is thicker. Oh, it might not be thicker, but it's better. Okay, I'm gonna sit and have a break. See, I was thinking, my plan is 
to carve. I did a wood spirit one with some trees. And it had a frame around it. Spider babies, spider eggs. Oh, there's a spider. It had a frame around it. Wood bug. And then I put the lights in around on the inside here. It's in my bedroom actually. So I was thinking of maybe like um, doing this and carving a skull up here. And having the pumpkin right in here. It would just be like a skull head. Carve all, carve all, all this wood would be gone. Oh boy, you guys are probably aren't even seeing this on camera. Where's that bigger pen? Is this even filming? So, a cheesy skull head up here. And then, That would be like that, My, yeah. Might as well use as much of the wood as we can, right? Then I gotta have a frame. Oh yeah, this would be kinda, this would be your frame. Because you gotta leave thickness here because I gotta cut deep in there to get those string lights inside there. Sorry, I'm kind of clueless right now. What's going on here? Yeah, that's right. So the skeleton won't... No, I'm not lighting up the pumpkin's eyes. So if that's like that, this is like that. Got room there. And then we could put our pumpkin. It'll be like more of a rounder. Kind of pumpkin, pumpkin. And your pumpkin eyes in here, right? Nose. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I don't care. I'm going to do the skull. Screw it. Just have fun, right? I think so. Why not? If you're not having fun, then why, then why bother doing it, right? You guys see that? Or maybe I'll just, I don't know if the outside needs to be shaped as a pumpkin. Maybe I'll just kind of. Well, it's the same thing. Might as well shape the outside as a pumpkin too. This bottom's going to be somewhat flat. I'll take some corners off here. But this is just a piece somebody can lie. This is just a piece somebody will be able to lie in their carport or something. Turn the lights on and trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. I don't know. Okay, I'm running a still 170 MS 170 with a 16 inch cannon bar quarter pitch 50 gauge chin. Think filming? Yeah.
Okay, so I took my time. I did all the deep cuts inside here. So like I learned from uh, Ryan Cook, um, even watching his videos, say for you doing an owl example, the more prep you put into it with your saw and make everything round, the less work you're going to have to do after. So I'm going to spin this uh, back straight now. I lowered my microphone so you guys don't have to hear me huffing and puffing. Okay, so that's that. Um... Well, see, when I do these light projects, where's the air blower? When I do these light projects, I don't like it when you can see the lights themselves. But down here is kind of a, uh, I cut this, I cut this too small. I gotta go get my, my friend uh, Frank has a better compressor for me. I gotta go get it. Can't stand the noise if you guys can hear that. So now is the time I think, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripe. Just wait till that compressor shuts up! Uh, don't mind me, I'm just sitting back here. Having a little break. This is uh, second growth. Western red cedar, by the way, second or third, you can see the wide grain. It's completely dry. See like this piece here, this is first growth, super tight grain, second growth, wide grain, second growth or third growth means it's been planted by hand or whatever. This one was grew up in a deep old forest, not planted by man. So you can see here, it's not freaking it's all warped you know i could have made it perfect round got a garbage can lid and put a perfect pumpkins aren't round so here's the deep channel that i got carved in here so i can glue my lights to this side all the way up around but down here i can't go any deeper so the lights will be glued to here so you probably will see a bit of the lights but that's okay that's quite okay you can put some moss down here too if you want now what do i want to do next i am going to show sugi pooped her pants this because look at this grain look it's all twisty what do i want to do next so this thing right here is going to be a complete pumpkin okay there's not going to be any sides or anything it's just a pumpkin i'm going to carve the face maybe cut a couple little lines in there the camera stopped uh was that filming Fuck. Anyways, do I want to carve the skulls? Are gonna like I'm not very good at carving skulls. I gotta lower these eyes to give it a forehead, then maybe some teeth, top jaws, kind of like that skull right there. Just a silhouette of a skull, nothing crazy. Um, what do I want to do first? There's lots of stuff I could do. Do I want to carve the pumpkin, or do I want to carve the skull? Skull, pumpkin, pumpkin, skull, pumpkin, skull, skull, pumpkin. Pumpkin skull, pumpkin skull, pumpkin skull, skull, pumpkin. I think I'll uh, draw the pumpkin on first. So it's always, I know you guys can't see this pin that well. It's always good to have a center line. Is that center? Well, maybe you can go over this way a bit. I got to stand back, take a look at it. So there, I'm going to use two pens. I'll use the thicker after. So, and this is just a real simple pumpkin carving. I'm not a professional pumpkin carver. So there's the nose. Do the eyes like this. You can bring your points across so you can try and get them. I don't really care though. I do, but I don't. But I don't, but I do. I kind of give this one a see why is that why is this side if you look at the nose it's closer to this side than it is this side so we got to go further away 
Now let's go like this. And then it's just going to have the bottom. Typical thing, thing, jaw. See, I had to cut this deeper too because your lights are going to be faced this way. So you want it to reflect, you know. The deeper that you make this when you got the lights here, the more that you're going to see the pumpkin. <laughs> Whatever. My camera just stopped working last time. So let's see here. Okay, now we can draw the final one. Nose. There's a knot right there. That sucks because when you're trying to get this piece out, you know, when you cut this out with your chainsaw, you're trying to get that piece out, it won't just chip out. What's going on here? Then we'll have a cut mark here and a cut mark here for the pumpkin line things. This is why I like to, if you get different colors of pen, it helps too. Because then you can do it with one color first, then another color second. one of those days just one of those days it's gonna be sad once this tree's gone all my shot shades gonna be gone in the summertime hurry up and finish cracking anyways All right, so I got everything cut in. The eyes are punched in. Man, don't uh, carve your noses or your eyes where there's knots. It's a real, it's a real bitch to blow, to get the wood out of there with the tip of your saw, especially if your saw's dull. Um, now, so Susie Ban is a lot. So so Susie Shitter Pants is a lot of work. It's dirty. It's a dirty, dirty, dirty job. Sometimes we like them dirty, right? Anyways. I think when you're doing the show Susie Shitter Pants, it's best to sand, sand it, make it nice. Sand it, make it nice first. Round everything off. You don't have to spend that much time sanding. This is a flap sander. Three inch, I think. This is like, uh, I think, 80 grit on here. So I'm going to run around and um, clean all this up. All on the outside, too, because this is all going to be show Susie Band, too, on the outside. And this is my, for all you that don't know, this is my Trend um, Air Shield Pro. This is like a $600, I think, around there. They sell it on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. This is the this is the cheaper one. Maybe you can get them so you got like my buddy buddy Benjamin has it. So it has a pipe and the battery pack and the filters on your back. But this one, it's got an on-off, it's rechargeable battery. You guys hear that? There's fans pushing, there's filters right here. There's fans pushing the air in here so it doesn't fog up. Now with this, it's like a hard hat thing right here. You do up and tighter and looser, but you can have a beard having this too because it wraps around your beard. It doesn't take the air out once I said it pushes the air in and it stops the sawdust at these filters so I'm gonna get this done I also got to wheel those pumpkins inside the carving fusion warehouse tent because 
Let those shitty lights, those pumpkins, those white pumpkins outside because they're calling for a uh, rain. So I think I'll do that first. Anyways, this, I don't know. Do you guys really need to see me sounding this thing? I still got to carve the friggin' skull too. I'm tired today. I don't know why. I'm tired. Okay. Okay. This bigger pumpkin, that wood is so wet, that willow. It's like 150 pounds. No lie. Carry on. And it just started raining too. I can hear it in my tent. I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but anyways. Okay, so that's uh, what I got sounded for, but uh, Uncle Don showed up. Hey, Uncle Don. Hi, how you doing, George? Pretty good. <laughs> how, how do you like the spirit? I love it. I love it. It's going to look beautiful in my backyard. Yeah. We're going to really enjoy it, George. I put some water on it to give it the uh, water test. Yeah. And that's uh, so how it darked up. And um, thanks for popping in, Uncle Don. Thank you, George. Glad you're still you kicking much. 76 years old strong and hey. just... <laughs> Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it easy. Thanks again, Jordy. You're welcome. Okay, so I got the school drawn on here. Um, probably have to drop these up. Drop these up. I'm tired. Oh, did I say that already? Yeah, I said that. Um, I got to carve this skull. My Uncle Don's so cool. He's an old millwright for uh, sawmills. He did it for... Um, he did it for years and years and years. And the, my cousin Marky, I don't you guys saw him maybe a couple years ago. He came by and brought me some stuff from the mill. And um, I showed my Uncle Don. Marky's Don's son, my cousin Marky. He gave these to me from the um, mill. This is a thing for like the big, huge round saw blades. And then this, I didn't know that this, like the, here's the cutter. I didn't know that this used to go on here. So that's how that works. My Uncle Don says these saw blades were so big, like this big, and sometimes, he goes, a couple of people in the mills got, well, not more, more than a couple of people in the mills got killed by these because that saw blade, that saw, would be spinning so fast sometimes because these would be banged in. This would go on the big round part, right? And this would go on here. Sometimes, once in a blue moon, one of these would fly off. And it's spinning. It's like a bullet. And this is sharp. This is like razor sharp. And when these flew off, when one flew off, it wasn't just one. It was all of them. So hundreds of these things would be flying off that um, saw blade. Like a little, you know, just think of a skill saw blade. But a massive one like this tall. All these flying off, shooting around the shop. And some people got um, killed by these, but that was a, it was a pretty cool story that he, uh, well, not that people died, but it's, it's good to know. I like knowing stuff like that, right? So maybe one day I'd like to carve him an owl and um, use this as a talons. And these, these I got these gears too. I, I, I already did an owl out of these. But I got these gears here from Marky too. And my, my Uncle Don was telling me what these are for. But you can use these for uh, owl eyes too. I got a whole bunch. I got like a hundred of these. And you put these in there for owl eyes. So it's like a robotic owl. It's got this as owl eyes. And then the thing for the talons. And it would be nice to give that to my Uncle Don. I didn't charge him any money for that uh, wood spirit. He tried, he tried to give me money. I says, no, no, no. I don't, I don't like taking money from my family. So, when I was sanding this, it was like, Jordy, what the fuck are you thinking? Like this, like this whole thing. And I stopped it. 
like I kept on sounding, but my mind stopped. I says, I know what I'm thinking. I was doing something that I love to do. So that's why I'm doing it. I don't know if I'll be able to sell this piece or maybe I'll just keep it for myself. I might have to make this video, this um, video two parts. But I think what I'm going to do now is it's just going to be a silly little thing of a skull. And um, I'm not going to film that. And then we'll do some burning. This thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Shit your pants. Okay, it is raining out pretty good. And that's what we needed here in British Columbia, Canada. Look, there's almost some puddles forming. Um, look at the color of this burl. It's getting wet. Different colors of cedar in there. Don't laugh at the skull. Hey, a skull's a skull. <laughs> um... For me to carry on today, I definitely... Oh, what have we got here? I thought I thought I was out of coffee. Yeah, this is almost done. I got to go get um, some coffee because there's still tons more work to do. Okay, I don't have my microphone hooked up, but I got the torch going. Now I'm going to burn inside here really good so you can see it getting hot red. Red hot, see that? See what it does that? They call it like alligator or crocodile skin or something. So I got to burn this whole thing now. Okay, it's all burnt. Now this part is terrible, but this is what makes it cool. I got to go over this for my normal subscribers that thinking, Jordy, I've seen this a thousand times. Why are you going over this? Well, I got to go over this because some people don't know. When you do the Shosugi ban, so shoesy sitter, shitter pants, to get the grain to pop out, you cannot use sandpaper. Sandpaper will just carve away the grains. Uh, yeah, well, carve away the grains. It'll sand away the grains. You can use nylon wheels like this you get from Amazon. They come in the blue, red, and I like these ones better. On your drill, you put this on your drill. But these leave marks, okay? It leaves marks when you use these. Or, like this box here, it's in my Amazon store. You can take a screenshot of it right now. Scotch Brite. This is M3 07747. I think it was like 30 or 40 dollars for this box. You get 30 pads, and they're just like this. Okay. So here is a ready rod. See the nut on the back, and there's a washer up there too. So what I do is I put five of these on this ready rod. In my drill, this is just PVC pipe, so you can hold it and spin it at the same time. And I put Loctite tight on this back nut because when you tighten up this top nut, this one will keep on threading. So I put some glue on there. So one, two, three, four, five. I do five. You can do more. I will probably go through this and another. I will have to stop and reload this when I do this. And here's the top nut in the washer. So that's that. So put your dust mask on because this is, I'd suggest wear long sleeves too because this is a dirty, dirty, dirty job. Carving Fusion time lapse coming up. Shut your pants.
Okay. I didn't even use up all that scotch bright. I still got lots left on that thing I got there. So the more that you go over this, the whiter, like see how white it is there? The whiter you're going to get the colors to pop. But since I'm so tired that I've gone over it good enough. And, um, well, it's good enough. Now let's talk about painting. So this is um, airbrush colors. Let me make sure my microphone's working. This is airbrush colors, water-based, acrylic, forum, uh, airbrush painting. So I'm able to buy this stuff for my videos and for my art when you guys uh, buy stuff on my Amazon store because it, when you buy something, I make like, so if you bought something for like $20, I'd probably make like uh, 60 cents. So this, I'm going to use this black stuff to paint in the eyes. This is, I bought this last year. This is a little um, needleless air sprayer. It's hooked up to my compressor. Okay, so you got all the hoses down there and stuff like that. I'm not going to go over that, but I got a quick release. And you got this air compressor hose. This was cheap. I think this was like under $20. You can find it in my Amazon store too. It looks just like this, like this. I got two of them. If you want to take it, does come with a little hose there. And uh, one of those things, if you if you want to, if you don't have an air compressor and you want to get one of those compressed cans of air, that's what that's for, that lid. But here's here's the number if you want to take a screenshot. Hold on. Okay, and to the buddy that um, just sent me a couple messages asking for the flex shaft link. Okay, I got a video how to repair the Dremel flex shaft. If your flex shaft breaks, um, you can change the inner flex shaft. And he's, he's asked me for the part number for the flex shaft. And I says, I don't know what it is. It's on the video. Or you can just call Dremel and get the flex shaft number. And then he replied, thanks for nothing. Yeah, well, thank you too for nothing. Um, enjoy your miserable life. So anyways, that's this. And it's not, this is not hard to clean. Like, okay. I bought the same one Ryan Cook has. I had to spend some of my own money to buy this, but this came from Amazon too. I think I, I saved up my Amazon store money and put some money towards it. I'm not going to use this today, but um, I'm eventually going to use it. Airbrush. Um. Ryan really suggested this one, so I, I bought what he suggested. I don't always buy what he suggests, but this one, um, yeah, because he just runs his compressor at full throttle and just paints it, does the painting quick, right? So this would probably be the best for me. And this one has, like, there's a bottle that hangs uh, down there, so you can put lots of, like, a bottle like this, but a lot bigger. So this one, this one's good for, like, painting the eyes and stuff. It's cheap enough. You know, it's, um, there's no needle in it. So the paint just comes out of here, comes through that little nozzle, and the air pushes it out. So I'm going to put some black in here. I'm going to paint in those eyes. Then, now, the color of the pumpkin. I, I, could, I got some fresh orange paint here, brand new. I just bought this count. And I got some black paint here, brand new. I like this stuff better than the trim clad because the trim clad um, is for metal. It takes a lot longer to dry. But they didn't have any orange of this for this stuff. So I got the orange trim cloud. That's what I started out using is this stuff. But what I did, this is watered down old tattoo ink, orange, all acrylic, all water-based. Um, I had some of that tattoo, um, tattoo ink. I had some old air sprayer stuff ink in here. It wasn't that, it's so watered down, it wasn't that um, rich orange color when I sprayed, let's see, that pumpkin behind there, that's like four coats back there. See the one, Shosugi Don one? So, when you water down your paints, make sure that you, uh, I got to mix this up, I think it's sitting in the bottom, some of it's sitting in the bottom there. But um, yeah, you got to use lots of, you could just use, you know, like, even some of this, I got some dollar store paint here. I mix this up with water and put this in there too. And look, this is pure pumpkin. So it's acrylic. It's water-based. Dilute it. Because I want the colors to pop through this pumpkin. Shosugi ban, right? 
the skull, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll just leave it, uh, maybe I'll paint it gray. So anyways, let's get um, the show on the road, load up this sucker with this airbrush paint. Yep, come on. Okay, so I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see, but uh, that airbrush paint seemed a little bit thick, so I put some water in here and diluted it a bit. So, you know, that's, you get a pretty small, watch this. I think this is kind of the dummy proof to uh, airbrushing is this little thing here. Uh oh, it's, I think the tip's plugging up. Yeah, it's probably too thick. Yeah, it's plugged up. I think this, uh, when I did the water stuff, it worked good, but I think this paint's a little bit too thick. It's pretty thick there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put more water in here and uh, get this cleaned out. Yeah, it's plugged up. Carry on. Okay, I got it figured out. I had to turn up the pressure a bit on the compressor. There we go. You can adjust this little thing here too to make it come out more or less. That's nothing, so we'll do a little bit more. And wear gloves. I, I've messed around with airbrushes before and I couldn't get it, but maybe now is the time where I do get it because you got to take the time and do some, you got to clean these things good once you're done so that they don't plug up. Jesus, Jordy. Okay, we'll do the skull eyes. Is this thing even recording? Yeah, so I think this is a good little, good little cheap alternative to the um, expensive. Um, I got like four air guns. They're not the best, but the, the new one I got is a good one. But um, this is a good alternative. Um, so now I'm gonna get hook, get the uh, orange paint hooked up and do the pumpkin. Okay, so I got it cleaned out. Then I got orange put in here. So it might not come out that. Uh, See, it's not that orange. The more that you put on it, it just kind of... The more you put on it, the coats, the oranger you can make it. See, I just went too thick there. So I'm going to give this a couple coats of the orange. And I know I'm not going to be able to finish this video today because i got to let this dry till I clear coat it. And I'm just going to use that can of, uh, I'm just going to use this stuff to uh, clear coat it. But you can see there how the colors are popping. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think it is anyways. I like experimenting, trying different things. So I'll let that kind of uh, dry for a bit and then um, do a couple more coats, get it to go more uh, orangey. Yeah, it works good. Screw it. Why not? Got some watercolor gray here. Let's just go for it. White is the hardest color for the wood to absorb. I like how it's spotty like that. 
Um, I don't know. Sometimes when you do things white, it's just, uh, I know this is gray. We don't want it to be fully gray anyways. Just that. Like how that shows the grain. I think really that's all we are going for. Just have fun. Yeah, I like this. I think it works great for something simple. Kind of. There goes the compressor. Yep. Watch this to get the grain to really pop out. Yep, you don't know if you don't try. Look at that, those blacks in that grain really popping out. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Good enough for the chick's eye. Probably better to use a rag. But yeah, right on. All right. So, still a little bit wet, but that's all right. Uh-oh. Got some overspray under there. Got some overspray. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna warm up the paint with this torch. You could use a hair dryer or a heat gun. Okay, I got one little touch-up to do, then we'll spray it with some clear coat. Okay, I think we're golden there, pony boy. This is, uh... <coughs> this is a lot, uh, bigger of a thing. But I thought I was, uh... This is a lot bigger piece than I thought I was going to do. But then I got, I don't have much, I have like a, I don't know, that much of a can. This is the Russ Olam Satin Clear. Um, I got to spray this whole thing. So I hope I have enough. Let's just focus on the pumpkin for now. See how it darkens it up again, but that's all right. I got to, I'm not going to be able to finish this video today. Because I got to come back and I got to glue those lights in when I know. When I know this stuff is dry. Uh oh, they're getting low. Super fun project, anyways, even though I'm tired. Coffee has uh, woken me up for sure. Come on, just give me enough for one coat. I gotta get inside this wall here too for the lights to stick on. <coughs> yeah, oh, you're probably bitching. Where's your mask, Jordy? I have an outtake, outtake set up here.
Oh, come on, you dirty, dirty. Then, got to do down here too. Come on. Actually, we should just lay it down so it doesn't, you don't get streaks. <laughs> okay, I gotta go outside for a minute. Stand by. <laughs> okay, so it's been about five minutes. This stuff dries pretty quick. It's still tacky. But um, I'm going to go home for the night. I have to get another can of this stuff because this is... Oh, this... Well, because I'm tired. And i got to give it another coat of this stuff. And I don't have any more, so i got to get another can. So I'll just let this cure overnight. And then I might as well just keep going with this video. These are the string lights I got. So they're like that. So I'll put these lights in tomorrow and then uh, we'll light it up and see how it looks. I don't know. This will be the end of day one for this pumpkin light piece. Trick or treat. <sniffs> Cheer bounce. Okay, it's now the next day. I don't have my uh, microphone hooked up, but um, I got the more spray of that uh, clear coat. I'm gonna spray it, and I'm gonna I gotta get busy. So I'll spray it, let this dry, and then I gotta figure out the lights. So while I'm waiting for the clear coat to dry, might as well uh, cut up that pine wood that I got from Merritt and uh, carve some pumpkins out here and they're dropping more of that tree there screenshot okay so one of those pumpkins that I carved out of the uh, willow is, I carved it, look how fuzzy it is, this wood is soaking wet. So I'm eventually going to have to do this with all of them, let it dry out, then sand it. Because when you're trying to sand wood like this, it's soaking wet, it's just going to plug up your discs. And uh, I sanded it a bit, and then I blew this uh, sanding disc out with my air blower. I did this pumpkin out of... That's uh, the friggin' pine wood. Here's the more pine cuts. Man, look at this friggin' mess I got. I gotta clean this up. Yep. Here's that crotch wood piece. The uh, buddy that's cutting down the trees brought it over for me with a little excavator. What I did here, I did a release cut. Cause this wood cracks like crazy cracks like crazy so I did a release cut down the back all right to the center of the tree down and I did it up here too because it will stop the wood from cracking so much like look at this already look at this crack crack it will stop the wood from cracking so much because it has room to when when wood dries it shrinks so when it shrinks it has room to move you know, I'm gonna, one day I'll curve some owls on this, like an owl here and an owl up there. But if it's cracked, and people, like, look at, already on the front here, you can see little cracks in there. It goes right here. Little crack. I could put wedges in there, and I can always paint the owls after the wedges in. So, if this bark stays on this wood, it's going to stay wet. So, I just skin the bark off of it. I can feel it's already starting to dry up a bit. Put something over here so this doesn't get affected by the sun and hopefully it doesn't split too much with those cracks. And this will be like a flower plant, I think, or something. I don't know, whatever. It's just have fun, free wood. So anyways, back to the uh, pumpkin. It's getting late in the day. So I got that all done all ready to go I got the holes drilled for put the lights in okay so there's and I got the holes drilled for the skulls 
So I figured what I'm going to do with the lights th through the eyes, I got this UV resin, okay? And you dry it with this flashlight, this UV resin light thing. Where's the on button? So, oh, the lights start down here, they go up here, they go up here, they go up here, and then to here. So I'm going to put tape on the back here, lie this, lie this down, pour UV resin in there, and then hit it from the front side with the light. And then, because the lights go here. I. It's a nightmare. Anyways. Alright, so I'm doing this in stages. I've already done these. So I pour the stuff in there and I'll let the light uh, sit in there for a good five minutes. And I'll do more here. Okay. Sorry, I'm not don't have my microphone. There you go. I'll say one thing. Damn you, just carved Rob. You know how much more work this created putting lights in the eyes? Okay, so there's the holes, everything's done. I put some of that epoxy around the eyes because light transfers. Maybe some of the lights can come out and hit around these circles. I did down here at the pumpkins too. Illuminate. So these lights, for all you that don't know, they're string lights. I just got them on Amazon. They're just like this. Okay, so this one... This is strip lights or string lights. Not string lights, I think they're strip lights. LEDs, they come with a remote. We'll, we'll look at this later. Um, this set came with two things. So one, also, when you buy these sets, this is a little motion thing. Here's your main thing. I curved it back. It's kind of messy. Whatever. I'm going to spray paint all this black. This is your box, but this is your sensor that connects to your remote control. So I just glue that off to the side. So make sure when you get these, you get the one with the sensor because it's, if not, you have a problem with your remote control to hit the box if you want to hide it around back. 
there's the wires. So this one has two. So there's one that goes down here, and there's one that goes here that connects to the wires. Then here's my power down here. Okay. Right? So the one goes into the front, and this one goes, let's give you a better, wider angle. This one goes to the eyes. They suggest not to put glue over the lights because they might overheat. But I, it was just so messy with the hot glue gun. I just did this stuff. This is that, that black hot wax sticks that fit in your glue gun. Okay, so this is the one with the two. But I suggest when you buy these, always look, make sure to see if you can see that it has this little motion sensor thing. All right, so that's that. So there's eyes right there. Then there's eyes right there. So I guess the last thing to do, well, I want to get some moss down here. Put some moss in, down in the bottom here. Might even put some moss right here. You can put it up here. You can put it wherever you want to put it. I'm not making this piece of solid. I've put too much time in this. If somebody wants to buy it and give me decent money, well, they can buy it. If not, I'm just going to keep it myself for every Halloween. Put it in my carport. So let's... um. I don't think there's anything else I need to go over. Let's uh, turn the lights on and turn the lights off up here and see if it's not that dark out yet. And, um, yeah, it's been a good day. I'm tired, but it's been all right. I kind of haven't, haven't been going full force. I've just been kind of putting around. I, I still got to clean up my shop here. That's uh, for tomorrow morning. Anyways. Okay, so I got to turn off all the lights here without turning off the power, and I got to remember how to do that. Which one is for the lights? Perfect. So we'll just plug this in. See how she looks. Does it work? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, I'm glad I put the lights in the eyes. There it is. You're not going to get the real full effect until it's actually really dark. <laughs> oh, Jordy, another episode. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Okay, so I'm going to go to the dollar store, take this piece home. I'm done here. Get some moss, put some moss down here. And uh, we'll finish this off with the Carving Fusion Grand Finale. That's it. <laughs> I have no life. I have no life. Help me. <laughs> <laughs>